What up, Sally Sal? I'm going to show you how to put these drum tracks into your drum pads on Fruity Loops to the Axion. Hope you like that shit as much as I do. What you do is, I got these right here. I mapped all these out into the layer channel to the, to the Axion. So what you do is you go to, you go to channels, add one, layer, bring up the layer channel, and uh, get rid of that one. Bring up the layer channel, and you highlight all these, and you just hit set children. Now you got them all set. Show children to show you which ones that you put in there. And then you go to this little arrow button right here, and hit split children. So they're split up across the keyboard, instead of hitting one note, and then having them all play at the same time. So you highlight the layer channel, and then you go here which is C5, the middle, which is pretty much the basic main uh, key for Fruity Loops. And these are the sounds that I put in there. And I already mapped these across. So what you do is you hit the first pad, and it'll say pad number 27 right there. And on 27, you see this data one button. Push data one, and you see this little note flash like that. And instead of saying 147, it'll say 60, which is key number 60 on the keyboard. And it's also C5 on fruits. So you start at 60, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and so on. You can go up to size eight pads, of course. So uh, over here, you hit data one on your pad, and that'll say 60. But if it doesn't, which it won't on yours, just type in 60 and it'll match it, it'll send it to the pad over there and then uh, you'll have your first sound and then just go up until you got all eight pads filled and then you can just and then just tap out so uh, that's how you do it and this is a little thing I've been working on right here take a listen to that for a little beat battle hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something making beats get at me because we still got that collabo to do